Well, hey there, fellow renegades. It is Ken Lawson, Renaissance Man, and I am back. This time to get to one that you all have been asking for since my first Ren reaction, and that is Ren and Chinchilla doing Chalk Outlines live. So I am going to be doing, th this is my plan now, is to do like a Ren duet, one of the big push songs, uh, one of his songs, and a busking and Trick the Fox. Probably just one or two of Trick the Fox, but I think it's called Trick the Fox. If I'm wrong, don't correct me because I'll already know by the time you see this. <laughs> so anyway, we are getting ready to go with chalk outlines. Um, I've read through the lyrics a little bit. I just kind of wanted to get a gist of it so that when I watch it, I can, I can follow a little better. Uh, I didn't want to have them up on screen because, of course, you know, I'll be looking at all the other little doodads that are involved in that. So, um, and talking about his performance and her performance and all that. Let's go. Ren. Ooh, nice little ominous build in the background. Ooh. Neat. Would have been neat if the letters that had been done in a chalk outline. Nice natural reverb. Oh, going electric this time. This is the first time I've seen him. Well, wait, no, I think he had electric on back to 74. natural place to pause um there were a couple of lines in there that i found really intriguing um the ones that really got me uh in the gallows i balanced on my toes so i can breathe and it, it's it's funny it, it you wouldn't think of it as making sense just in general but when you hear it it seems to make perfect sense <laughs> um, because I actually get what he's saying. It, it's really an interesting image. Um, and it, it's uh, this, 
the thing about wanting to be someone different when you wake up in the morning, anybody that's living with sickness, um, you know, just not feeling good every day, just longs to wake up in the morning feeling better. Um, and people that have have issues that they're dealing with, um, I'll get into it more as we get into the song because it'll make more sense in that point. But I, I really get that because uh, my sister struggles with not feeling good a lot because she has a lot of health issues. And, and she does have that of every night you go to bed just wanting to be able to wake up being a different person in the morning. So anyway, really, really love it. And I love the sound. I, 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 I'm assuming that's a Strat. Uh, it's got a beautiful tone to it because why wouldn't it? He's playing it. <laughs> so now I'll be curious to see how Chinchilla sounds. His voice sounds beautiful in this to me. In the gallows, on my toes so I can and the delivery of that line is perfect. But little by little, bit by bit. I push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, yeah. just for a while, I bury myself with a great big smile. Oh my, my, oh my, my. We trace ourselves in these chalk outlines. Oh my, my, oh my, my. Erase ourselves in these chalk Sorry, before she gets going, I, I, I just want to say, too, the, the trace ourselves in these chalk outlines. Uh, when I saw the title, the first thing I thought was that it would be chalk outlines like, you know, what you would draw around a body. Um, but I don't think that's what he's talking about. Uh, I guess I guess in a way he's there's the chalk outline could be maybe protective, but it could also be something that you hope you can erase at some point which is why it would be in a chalk outline um or the things that you're doing you know form that outline around you but it it could be any one of those things he knows what it is and what it means to him and we will all figure that out on our own so let's get back to it harmony wow what a neat choice by him there little by little bit by bit i push it back down with a new habit if not for long just for a while i bury myself with a great big smile I'm sorry. I, I'm going to want to hear that again is why I'm stopping it. Uh, once they came in together, the choice, the what notes they were choosing for the harmonies were just unique and gorgeous. And for some reason, I wasn't expecting them harmonizing. I expected a trade-off and that kind of thing. So when they started harmonizing, it actually got me a little bit right here. It was, it was really interesting. And, uh, the yeah the one thing this um 
what is it, sertraline and a sip of serotonin, don't cry because there's a pill for everything, um, hits a little close to home for me because I've had, uh, I've been married a couple times. Um, my first wife ended up being bipolar, but we didn't know it when we were married. She found out when she joined the Army. Uh, but my last wife um, struggled with this because she had, she we didn't find out till later she was diagnosed with adult ADHD and a guy got in when I mentioned that in another vi video and said there is no such thing as adult ADHD it's just ADHD which is not true if you look on the Mayo Clinic site it lists adult ADHD and that's what her therapist said she had but uh, the thing of trying to get a pill to feel normal and then once you start feeling normal you don't want to take the pills anymore because then you don't feel like you did before. And it's just this constant tug back and forth. Um, but you take it just to feel better, but in some ways it makes you feel worse because now you're no longer yourself. Uh, it's, it's really hard. And then also trying to find the right one and all that because of serotonin deficiency. It says a sip of serotonin. I guess it's to balance a serotonin deficiency. Um, but it's really so many people struggle with it. And when you're trying to get balanced out with your which drug to take, it takes so long to get off of one to get onto another. And it's just a horrible thing to go through, the withdrawals of trying to get off of one to get started on another if it's a different type. But... Um, I'm sure that he went through a lot of this and the depression and all that. Uh, anyway, that that I think that's maybe why it hit a little hard for me, and I could actually feel getting a little choked up when they were when they went into the the harmony, especially. And I don't know why that moment, but it it was interesting that it hit me there. I just want to hear this whole section again. So it goes, God, their choices are so unique there. Oh. Okay, in the gallows, I balanced on my toes so I can breathe, and the gallows would be like a hangman's noose, and then you get on your toes you know, trying to loosen the grip of the noose. I got it. Duh. Um, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Because you feel yourself dying a little bit every day and you just want to get up on your toes, give yourself a breath and get in and, and feel normal for a moment. Little by little, bit by bit, I'm pushing back down with yeah. If not for long, just for a while, I bury myself with a great big smile. Oh, mama, oh, mama, we trace ourselves in these chalk outlines. Oh, mama, oh, mama, erase Wow, it's beautiful. I'm scared of being okay, cause all things change, all things change. They're scared of being okay, it's... it's such a perfect thing, it's a beautiful shame, it's a beautiful shame. I'm scared of being okay, cause all things change. Oh, I love the guitar drop. Push it back down with a new habit. If not for long, just for a while, I'll bury myself with a great big smile. Oh, my, my, oh, my,
Wow. You know, people kept suggesting that, and... Oh, I love that. Now it's in chalk. That's very cool. Oh. Oh, okay. This has gone on to the next video, but that's okay. Um, so, and I noticed at the end, let me see, little by little, I push it back down with a new habit. Um, people that have those kinds of things where they do need to be on medication are very prone to addiction to other things. It's just, you know, nature of the beast. Um, and it is usually the addiction is to make yourself feel different than you do when you're you. And being you sometimes is just painful uh, when, when you have those things. I mean, I, I don't have that problem because I'm actually a very happy, happy-go-lucky guy. Um, but, you know, everybody has their moments. They get a little down. But, but it's even worse for people that are dealing with that. Uh, anyway, I, I was not sure when people were saying, oh, you really got to see that. Um, it exceeded my expectations and she is a wonderful singer. Um, and her voice fits his perfectly. Um, the way they would let it get rough in some of the harmonies and then also, do notes that were slightly dissonant here and there. It just added to the the angst of it. Um, anyway, I will keep it short. Um, I can't think of much else to say. So I guess next I'll be moving on to the big push. Uh, I will see you all very soon. Have a great day, great night, great life. <laughs>